Stefan Kowalski and the Bearcat. Okay, this is um, a Bearcat. It's uh, known as an F-8F in the uh, military parlance. It was used by the American Navy at the end of uh, World War II, although it never saw action, and used mainly in the Pacific region or Pacific theater. Um, it is a carrier-borne type aeroplane, in other words, designed for carrier operations. What it has got is the ability to uh, fold its wings for storage on board carrier with spaces at a premium. There were many built, of which this is probably one of six remaining uh, serviceable today in private ownership. So this is the most powerful piston-engine fighter ever produced. The engine produces something like 2,800 horsepower, which is an enormous amount considering the size and weight of the aircraft. I think uh, that the designer's uh, theme has been for compact aeroplanes, probably more for its uh, agility in the air rather than any carrier operation. Obviously, for the war, it was designed to give pilots maximum performance in combat. From the point of view of uh, flying them today, it makes for a very exhilarating aeroplane because it's obviously got the sort of agility and vertical performance that no other aeroplane can match. The aeroplane's based in Geneva, where that's, that's where the owner lives, and uh, we fly it around Europe or up to UK, as we have done for this display. It can be an expensive business, obviously, because of the fuel consumption en route to these uh, fairly far-flung destinations. It's uh, in the region of 260 gallons an hour at full power. When it's being cruised, obviously, it uses considerably less. But for a short display, we're talking of something like between 60 and 80 gallons US consumed. The aeroplane's capable of speeds up to about 450 knots in dives. It was used up to high altitudes, say 30,000 feet, capable of carrying a fairly heavy ordnance bomb loads uh, for its day. And in terms of sustained turning performance, pilots will understand uh, the parlance of it being able to pull up to 7 Gs, although we use considerably less than that, probably between 5 and 6. And we can hold that throughout a turn. In other words, the speed doesn't drop off as you turn because of the power. What you see there is the external fuel tank, which is used for increasing the fuel tankerage, gives the airplane added range. This tank holds uh, 150 US gallons, which obviously uh, increases the time the airplane can spend in the air. It's easily detachable, or as you can see now, the, the uh, ground crew are just simply reattaching it. It's about a five-minute operation. It can be dropped in flight if, uh, from an operational point of view, uh, in combat, the tank would be dropped so that the uh, aeroplane retains its full um, agility. With the tank on, it becomes rather um, cumbersome. Stefan Kofowski is a Polish name, although Stefan actually comes from New Zealand. His father was a World War II fighter pilot, then emigrated, so it was only natural that he should follow in his father's footsteps. Stefan trained with the New Zealand Air Force, then transferred to the RAF. He's one of the few display pilots to have seen action, first in Aden with the RAF, and later in South Yemen in Hunters, when he flew for the Sultan of Oman. miss when his screen was shattered by a cannon fire. He also had to dodge SAM missiles, which he says were a bit quick. He was one of the first fighter pilots to fly the new Jaguar for real. So with that sort of experience, it's no wonder that he's rated one of the top display pilots in the world. After the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, the United States declared war on Germany and Italy. So now the Yanks were really in.
the Pacific War was all about aircraft carriers, and Grumman produced a long line of superb carrier-borne fighters, the Hellcat, the Wildcat, and at the end of the war, this Bearcat.